Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, if you're new here, hi. My name is Peace. I do natural hair lifestyle, uh, beauty, and currently I'm doing trending topics. Mm, yeah, so if you'd like to see this face again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. remember to click that subscribe button. Um, join the Peace family also. Help me grow my channel. And yeah, so today, uh, let's dive into last week's... Uh, five trending topics so the first story i'm going to cover is on coronavirus covid 19 as it's newly being called and um <clears throat> kenya you know on monday and tuesday we had cases where um we had two chinese people who were from china and they were allowed into the country and they showed the symptoms of the virus um, and it really scared people like in Makueni that worker who works at a construction site and another Chinese who I do not know what he does in Nakuru but they both cause a lot of scare in the country because phew, no one wants to get sick so what I do not understand with this story is this number one I do not know I do not think there are any direct flights to, from China to Kenya if there are they shouldn't because we do not want to get sick Number two, why are Chinese people being allowed into the country while Kenyans themselves are reaching out, pleading with the government to let them come back home and they are not being allowed to? I do not... It's, it's just perplexing, you know, like... People who actually ha have higher chances of infecting us or even having the virus are being allowed in without even being quarantined, without even any health care measures being taken and then that's when people are like yo this guy was in china right so why is he coughing coughing why is he sneezing sneezing ah, me i am just so tired of this country because we know how pathetic our health care system is we know how careless uh, we take things and how lightly we do take things so if we even have one case of COVID-19 in Kenya, we are doomed. We are doomed. That is not even a lie, by the way. So the next story is about Mutua banning an Indian a gay a film. And he put up a statement online saying, oh, blah, 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 I'm banning this film. Uh, Kenya is a God-fearing nation. <laughs> um, at, at, if, at let Indians go and watch them in their country. Was it produced in Kenya, sir? Was it? I don't think so. <laughs> it wasn't. So they can go in the country. How? On? Anyway, what? I feel like Mutua is just a cloud chaser. Is this a cloud chaser? He'll jump into anything that will make him relevant, anything that will have people talking about him. TV is calling him and saying, "Oh, Mutua, Ebu give us a, a comment about this." That is what Mutua does. He just oversteps his position his role his boundaries he just does that and simple things he should do to and to empower filmmakers in kenya actors in kenya he doesn't do that he is even not able to regulate our own tv stations like we have a very vulgar music being played at six you see programs like the beat you know programs like um what's that 10 over 10 i think those are things he should be come going out for not international staff, sir. Your priorities are so, so, so off. Yes, the next story is very, very exciting. It's about Stella Nyanzi. She got released from prison. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm tearing up just talking about this story, man. What? So yeah, excuse me. I'm going to cry. But Stella Nyanzi was released from prison and... It was just such a win. It was just such a win for women, for activists everywhere. Because this woman is just, mm, she's so mad. And then how they were describing her as a writer, as an academic. I was like, yes, girl. As in, they know who she is. They know she's not just a person just bringing trouble. They know she's studying. She has her papers. She's not just into a kawaida kawaida. You know, I'm so happy that she's been released. And oh, she's so fearless. The, the speech she gave after leaving prison, like, I was like, sis, what? She called that Museveni again. She's like, I was arrested because of writing a poem. 
of writing a poem, of expressing my dissatisfaction against this dictatorship, I'm not gonna stop. Museveni must go. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. Salute to you, Stella. So next story, um, the world is continuing to get more and more crazy. Yeah, there was this story on Citizens TV about a woman who, whose daughter stole her husband from her, or how can I put it, has relation has a relationship with her stepdad, like her father. Oh. So first of all, the way that story was reported, or the way she was interviewed was very insensitive. I do not believe that um, journalists are supposed to just disassociate themselves with the story and just tell it as it is. You also need to have empathy for the person you're interviewing, and it was just, just brought a bad taste in my mouth when I saw Lulu and her husband Rashid and the way they were interviewing her like like it's not even anything like they're not even empathizing with her like eh sasa hebu tuambie kwanza wasema binti yako ali kuwa na uhusiano na bwanako then she continues and says oh yeah yeah it's been very painful for me blah 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 na nikuulize mmekuwa mmeona kwa miaka ngapi as in you're not even showing empathy i was like Journalism in Kenya is just trash anyway. So our last story is about um, a child who was bullied in Australia. He's called uh, Bailey's, Quaden, Quaden Bailey's. He was bullied because he lives with dwarfism. And yeah, um, there was a lot of speculations around the story. But first when it came out, it was actually very inspiring to see celebrities, you know, supporting him, you know, Hugh Jackman, Cardi B, all those people that were behind him and they defended him against the bullies and they offered support for him to him but then there were other people who were just evil nasty wicked who started calling you know making up stories that he's not even nine years old he's 18 years old another one saying that he's you know rich that he hands a lot from his um his career in acting and some saying that he they run a scam with the mother where they pretend that he's being bullied so they can get money and uh, let me tell you something this world is just so fucked up sorry for cursing but it's it's true this world is just so fucked up because this guy was bullied whether he's making money or not whether he's 18 years or not um the fact remains that people who live with such conditions are so bullied any they receive a lot of hate and a lot of attention from bullies and yeah so whether you whether that is true or not it doesn't take out the fact that he has he's being bullied yeah and let's you know the world is already horrible enough so if you can do, if you can say something nice to someone if you can do nice something nice to someone then do it and avoid the urge to mock people for problems they're going through or for looking at the negative side of life. And that is the end of my speech. Thank you very much. So that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, click the subscribe button, join the peace family. And yeah, I will see you next time. Until next time, um, choose kindness. Bye guys.